All right, we are checking. I got confirmation that Chase's results for his genetic testing for FH were uploaded to the portal. And I'm gonna upload, or I'm gonna open that right now. We're really nervous because this will determine if Chase has FH or not. We don't know. Right now there's a 50% chance. It's kind of a Schrodinger's cat moment right now. Um, I have heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, which means only one parent has the broken gene that causes yeah. FH. Daddy. Uh, so, having said that, Daddy. there is a 50-50 chance yeah. that our children will get it. Um, I have three children that I have fathered. And uh, we're going to get their results in one at a time and let you know. Yep. All right, you ready? No. All right, so it's the LDLR gene that Brandon has that is broken, detected, whatever. I don't know. It's the LDL gene. So I'm going to open up Chase's results right now. My name is Brandon. I have three biological children. I was diagnosed with familial hypercholesterolemia when I was eight years old. The year before that, my father passed away at age 39. Typically, the men in my family don't live past age 40, and the disease hasn't been as aggressive in females. It terrifies me having two boys, knowing everything I've gone through by the age 36. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hi. Tonight we are, well first we are juicing. We got mama's juice. When I say mama, it's my beautiful bride. She's the mama of the house. Cheers. Cheers babe. Oh, it's almost like I'm sitting on your lap a little bit. Oh. Um, we are going to do my genetic testing. For those of you that don't know, I have FH familial hypercholesterolemia. But this right here, boom, is a little kit that was sent to me by some genetic counselors and we are going to do this to see just where exactly my FH comes from. Which gene? Which gene and how, uh, how bad it is or how good it is. Obviously, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, so this is my saliva collection kit. And here we got a little tube. We gotta fill up with some saliva. All right, guys. Are you eating it? Yeah, I'm eating a banana. All right, guys. So Brandon finished his sample here. We're going to be sending this back to Inviate for genetic testing. Um, we just wanted to make this video um, because we are documenting Brandon's health journey and the whole family's health journey because obviously he's doing genetic testing because this is a familial problem. So, mi familia. Mi familia. So the likelihood that our children will also have this disease is very high. So we are doing Brandon's testing first and once they determine which gene is the issue or the problem gene, then they're gonna send out and we're going to do this test for Chase and Kalina as well as up to 20 members of Brandon's family. My name is Brandon. I have familial hypercholesterolemia. I just wanted to share a little bit of my story with you. I was diagnosed when I was eight years old. A little bit after my father passed away. He was 39 at the time. After that, I tried to do a little digging into my family history, find out who has it, what exactly is it, what is going on inside of me that took my father at such a young age, and finding out that um, my uncles, my grandfather, my half-brothers, my sisters, we all have it. And typically it's a 50-50 shot at do I have it or don't I? 
and well, luck of the draw, I got it. And what it is, is it's a broken gene that uh, causes abnormally high LDL or bad cholesterol that can lead to early heart attacks, coronary artery disease, which here I am, 36 years old, and I've had both. I'm a survivor of three heart attacks and quadruple bypass surgery that I just had nine months ago, actually, uh, at 35 years old. Okay, so <clears throat> here in about 40 minutes, we are going to be talking with the doctor who's been administering and talking to us about Brandon's genetics because we are actually going to be getting the results of Brandon's genetic testing and finding out exactly what genes are causing um, the hyperlipidemia in his case or a uh, familiar hypercholesterolemia. Oh my god, that's such a mouthful. Wow, Kalina. She's gonna go over and help us like digest that information because obviously we're not genetic specialists and she is and she's going to be able to help us um, understand what it is that's going on. Anything you want to add, babe? Um, unfortunately, yesterday, um, Brandon's brother Teddy died of this and that's going to be really, really hard for him today because Teddy was supposed to be part of this testing as well. And I know it's going to be a really hard thing for Brandon to talk about today because I know that just the whole family comes up. You know, we're discussing this as a family disease. We're not just treating Brandon. So even though Brandon is the focal point, um, Teddy was kind of the most similar to him. So that's going to be a very large focus today. And that's going to be very, very difficult. Some of the earliest memories I have of my father, of course, you always want to hold on to the good memories, playing golf, being my baseball coach, you know, it's a, um, those are the good things. But I also remember him being in his 30s and not being able to play with me because he just had his third open heart surgery. He had his sixth, seventh heart attack, his second stroke. You know, and this is something that he suffered with from the time he was 21 years old. He had his first stroke. And it's not something that anyone wants to remember about their father, and it's not something I want my kids to remember about me. What did you get, babe? I got my welcome packet for the FH Foundation for my advocacy to start my training. That's so cool. Doesn't love this pin, what the FH? It's so, so awesome. The hat. I never in my life knew there was a foundation for the disease that killed my father until I found these people. Now, I'm gonna be an advocate. I'm so happy. So cool. I get to help other people so they don't lose their fathers the way Aww. I did. Including your own children. Yes. That's going to be so cool. Oh. I can't believe this. This is like the best thing ever. I just want you to know I didn't cry when I oh, got this. You definitely cried. I witnessed it. That's why I had to go get the camera. It's another reason why I'm doing this. So less people have to have quadruple bypass and be an emotional wreck like I am on a yeah. daily basis. Yeah. So, yes, I, I, 
couldn't be happier right now for this gift and the gift of the knowledge that I'm going to have and to be able to pass on that knowledge to other people that are getting diagnosed. Hey guys, what's up? Over the process of time, I've been making this genetic testing video because Brandon underwent some genetic testing for his familial uh. hypercholesterolemia. Did I say that right? Anyway, I just got finished signing up all of the kids Hi. that Brandon has had, including Hi. my two, Chase and Kalina, and my stepson for their round of genetic testing. And I've just had like a lot of thoughts about it that I just wanted to add in. You know, I'm just kind of thinking about it because right now, you know, my stepson is almost 17. Chase is two and Kalina is one. You know, Brandon's known, he's had this, he had a high cholesterol reading when he was eight and he was told that he more than likely has this. Obviously, when we did the genetic testing, we found out that it is his LDLR gene that is broken and tested positive. And so now we are going to be searching for that same exact gene and seeing the condition of it in these three kids. And it's kind of like, an interesting experience, you know, because we knew already that Brandon was sick. We knew already that Brandon had this condition. I don't know right now at one years old if Kalina has this condition and I'm going to know at one year old if she has this condition and it's kind of, I don't know, I'm just processing it right now. It's scary, but I think it's also positive. You know, I kind of wish that my stepson now is 17, you know, if he, has this condition trying to make lifestyle changes at you know your later teenage years that's really difficult you know wanting to go on a diet and realizing that you can never do like the keto diet you know just just little things like that is just crazy um you know just how you have to live life differently when you are a heart patient and you know what that means and how are you going to live a productive, healthy life. That's part of the, one of the reasons why I really wanted to test Chase and Kalina right now. Um, the genetic counselors that we spoke to kind of left the ball in our court. They said, hey, if you wanna test these two, they're really young, you don't need to know now. You know, this isn't a condition that would affect them till their 20s, 30s, 40s, or 50s. Um, but we are gonna go ahead and test them now regardless. A few months ago, my brother Teddy passed away. He was the only one I had to talk to about the disease, surgeries, just heart disease in general. And he finally succumbed to familial hypercholesterolemia. There's that big word. Um, he was all I had. He was, of course, my half brother, but 48 years old. That's too young if you ask anybody, for anybody, that's too young. And he was the oldest male that I know in my dad's side of the family. He was the one, you know, he's the guy I could call anytime and say he could just relate to, you know. Being 36 years old and being one of the oldest living men on my dad's side of the family because of this, it's not something I want other people to go through. 
the only way we can do this, the only way we can win is by knowing. Knowing saves lives. Please, just if you ever have a question about it, reach out on here. Message me on this video and I will get back to you. I'll help you in any way possible. I take it as a personal responsibility, very personal, to help each and every one of you. You need to know. I want you all to not have to go through what I've already gone through. All right, we are checking. I got confirmation that Chase's results for his genetic testing for FH were uploaded to the portal. And I'm gonna upload, or I'm gonna open that right now. We're really nervous because this will determine if Chase has FH or not. So I'm gonna open up Chase's results right now. A, not available. Not detected. Not detected. Living my life with FH or familial hypercholesterolemia is it's different because I'm not overweight, I feel I'm in good shape, I've always been active my entire life and up until my bypass surgery I actually played adult softball and I love running around with my kids and my wife is you know a marathon runner and eats plant-based and you know all these things that you really factor into high cholesterol usually and none of it was working for me and that led to you know open heart surgery you know one out of every 250 people has familial hypercholesterolemia that's one out of every take me out of the equation you never watched this video you don't know me you still know somebody else you know finding out my children you know finding out their results by the time they're three years old is huge you know we know and that is how you save lives by knowing that you have it all right guys <laughs> we're back and i now have kalina's results and i'm going to load them to see if she has fh he wants to go play. Chase wants to go play. Run, buddy, run. So we got Sissy right here. This is Kalina's results. I'm nervous, but I mean, I was nervous last time. Here we go. Wow. For Chase? Wow. Yeah, this is Kalina. Yeah. She, Detected. She has it. Wow. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not as bad. It's not as, as aggressive in girls. It really isn't. Wow. Babe, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It is okay, baby, it is okay. He's really upset because he feels responsible, but it's nothing you can control. You can't control genetics. Mommy. Baby, what's up? Yeah. 
hat. <laughs> well, I wanted to get our authentic reactions, you know. That was as authentic as I can give you. Yeah. Well, you know what? This is why I do the advocate work that I do. Yeah. And it's why we did the genetic testing that we do. It's really the male line that we've only noted has really struggled. Nobody else in the family has ever had genetic testing besides you, Chase, and Kalina, and then Kaden now at this point. So, um, there's definitely been women carriers in your family. It's just, it really doesn't affect the women the same way it affects the males, at least in the Wilson family. So there's a much better chance of her never, you know, having heart episodes later in life mm -hmm. than say Chase or myself um, but early detection is the best thing you can do mm -hmm. excuse my red swollen <laughs> eyes it's not that big of a deal I just reacted to uh, my daughter I mean, it's my yeah, princess that's your princess so we're still an FH family I could preach and preach and preach all day long about detection, 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 getting, getting tested, finding out if you have this, you know, reaching out to the FH foundation is the key. Talking to your doctors, finding out from your, your family, your relatives. The biggest thing is catching it when it's just high cholesterol before it turns into heart disease. Having three children, passing the gene on to one of them, I can say I didn't give my daughter heart disease. I gave her high cholesterol, which can be controlled. Find out before you have heart disease. Here is Caden's results, getting the verification email. Not detected. Wow. Oh, thank you, God. So my kids, I have three biological children. Uh, I have two boys and one little girl, my princess. Um, my oldest boy, he is almost 17 years old now. When his test results came back to me and they were negative for the gene that I have, one of the best moments of my life. 
getting Chase's results, now he's two years old, almost three, when his test results came back negative, wow, wow, that's two of, out of the three of my children, like it's 50-50, it could go both ways, Chase didn't have it, wow, opening up my little princess, my love my little girl. My first girl, my only girl, I love my little girl. Getting her test results and it said LDLR gene detected. One of the worst moments of my life. But one of the best moments. Knowing that I gave this to my princess is hard. Every parent that if you have this and you're watching you know what I'm going through. You've been there. It's hard. But one of the best moments was knowing she'll be fine. She found out before she was even two years old. She's gonna, she's gonna be okay. Everything about this is early detection. That's the way we win. It's the way we beat all of this. We, the way we beat the odds is by finding out and getting treatment. She's gonna be just fine. I did not doom my child by passing this on to her. I helped her by detecting it, by finding out that she does have it. And that's the key.